Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Guess what we're doing today? A full face of nothing new. It has been way too long. This is a series that I started several years back on my channel where I sit down and use things that are not new launches, things that I have in my existing collection, things that maybe you might wanna see again on my channel that just get kind of drowned by new launches and new reviews and things like that. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I was going through my eyeshadow palette drawer and found this Patrick Ta palette. This one right here, which I don't even know if I've used that many times on my channel, but it's such a gorgeous palette. I really wanted to use it again. There's some really old products that I grabbed and then some that are newer, but they're not brand new, you know? And so hopefully it inspires you to dig back into your collection, sit down and like do your makeup with me. And yeah, let's just have fun. Let's just play with makeup. So I'm gonna start out with prepping my skin with this Clinique moisturizer. This is such a good like basic moisturizer in the best way and it specifically works really well underneath makeup. So I'm gonna use this to prep. I did actually do my brows off camera. And for brows, if you're wondering, I used my Anastasia Brow Definer in medium brown. Next, I'm gonna use this right here to prep the under eye area. It's the Summer Fridays Light Aura Vitamin C and Peptide Eye Cream. This has a bit of a brightening effect to it, which I feel like I could definitely use right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that underneath the eyes. You can see it already like canceled out some of that discoloration. I'm also gonna apply it kind of around the eye bone. What is that called? Right here? <laughs> Just to kind of hydrate the entire eye area. All right, let's dip into the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2 palette. So this is the second one. These are more rosy tones and they're just fantastic. So I think for a base, I'm gonna start off with the lighter cream shade that's in the palette. I forgot how pigmented that is, so a little goes a long way. I'm probably gonna have to clean off my brush a little bit. And now I'm taking a completely different brush just so that I can kind of distribute this product a little more evenly. I definitely got excited with the cream, so a little does go a very long way. Next, I'm actually gonna take the, well, I was gonna take the lightest shade, but I'm gonna go into this shade instead. We're just gonna start to build out a little bit of structure on the outer edge of the eye, right on top of that cream shadow. I feel like every time I use this palette, I dip into this shade because it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna try to switch it up a little bit. We'll go with the lighter shades. I'm trying to decide. I think I'll start with this shade right here. I'm just gonna start kind of packing that right over top of where we just applied the cream shadow all over the lid. I'm not sure yet if I want to apply the other shimmer on top or if we should just kind of keep it more simple. Hmm. Let's just do the same thing on this eye before I decide. Okay, I decided I wanna take this lighter shade right here and just apply it to the very center of the eyelid because I love the look of kind of like the all over shimmer situation, but I think having a little pop of this more golden color in the very center of the lid could be really pretty. Yes, it just adds that subtle detail that I think was missing. I'm just cleaning up any fallout under the eyes. I'll probably have to add a little bit of eye cream again since I just kind of wiped some of it away. I'm gonna take my fingertip and kind of pat down the edges of the eye just so that everything looks nice and seamless. Let's pick a mascara. Whoops. You know what? It's been a while since I've used my Makeup Forever mascara. So I'm gonna take the step one side first, which is more for lifting and lengthening. And then step two, which is my favorite, is the volume side of things. So I'm just gonna add that on top. All right, so I'm just adding a teensy bit more of the eye cream back in. And while that kind of sinks into the under eye area, I'm gonna do a bit of foundation. I actually, this foundation I saw, where was I? I think I was just browsing on Sephora and I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this foundation. I have it already. And it's just been so long since I've used it. It's also from Patrick Ta. This is the Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. This one is in the shade Fair 2. It's such a beautiful, very like undetectable foundation, but it still gives amazing coverage. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and apply it all over the face. A little bit of this goes a long way as well. This is like a really good shade match for me right now. Even though it's in the middle of summer, I'm still very fair. <laughs> so I'm just buffing this out all over the skin. Look how pretty that is. Like it genuinely still looks like my skin, but it's, Got really great coverage. Like it's just my skin, but perfected completely. I'm just gonna press that in with my beauty sponge. Okay, for concealer, this isn't super old, but it's also not super new. And it's just been too long since I've used it. And it's like such a good concealer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. It's actually one of my favorite concealers ever. This is the shade two, it's very light. So I'm gonna take just a little bit 
just under the eyes. And I honestly don't feel like I need concealer on the face because that's how good the coverage is from the Patrick Ta foundation. So I'm just gonna blend that out directly with my sponge underneath the eyes. I actually have a loose powder I'm gonna be using and then we will also dip into the powder from the foundation duo. I wanted to use the House Labs powder. I'm actually gonna take that on a little puff. This puff is actually from Amazon. I'm trying it out, it's nice. I'm gonna take this and set the T-zone as well as underneath the eyes with the puff. I love setting my face with a puff or a sponge just because it really makes everything look so flawless and it makes it wear longer, which I'm all about that. Like if I'm gonna bother putting on makeup, I want it to last a long, long time and look flawless, you know? So this is a really good little trick for that. I'm also gonna take that same powder on a brush and just lightly tap some powder on the outer edge of the face because I'm gonna be using a powder bronzer and I don't want it to skip anywhere. Speaking of the powder bronzer, I was going to my bronzer drawer and I found the Jones Road bronzers, specifically the shade Dusty Rose, which is like more of a rosy tone, which I thought would be so beautiful to incorporate in this look on the face with the rosy toned eyes. I also grabbed the shade Light Tan. So we're gonna start with Light Tan, just to add a little bit of like warmth. And then I'm gonna add even more like warmth and a sun-kissed effect with the Dusty Rose color. I love that she has a more dusty rose shade. You can actually use it as more of a blush if you would like, but I found that when you use it on the face in the points where the sun would naturally hit, it actually looks so natural, which is kind of crazy because you don't really think of a bronzer as being super pink toned. But if you have more fair skin, you'll know that like when you get a sunburn, you turn a little bit more pink than bronze. <laughs> At least I do, so it looks very natural for me. So that's a good base for the bronzer. And now I'm gonna take the Dusty Rose shade and just kind of go right over top to further warm things up, add a bit of that rosy hue into the face, which I think looks so pretty, again, with that eyeshadow, just to kind of tie all the tones together. Gonna kind of go across the nose with that as well. A little goes a long way. When I first used this, I kind of went a little overboard with this color, but I find that like layering it really makes it blend into the skin beautifully and look very natural. Going back in with my powder brush just to blend everything out one more time. Then we're gonna hop into the lower lash line. I'm just gonna take my Chantecaille Nude Eyeliner just to brighten up the eyes a bit. Then I'm gonna take this shade right here, the one that we used on the top lid. I'm just gonna start to apply this across the entire lower lash line to bring in that kind of toasted rose tone on the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna take a more flat brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade right next to that one, which is more of like an actual true rose color. I want a little bit of this right up against the lash line on that lower lash line. I just think it would add a pretty soft dimension up against that eyeliner. I'm just adding it right here. And then I'm taking that same brush but just damp with some setting spray and I'm applying it. Oh, I didn't show you the shade. I'm applying this shade that we have kind of all over the eyelid right here on that lower lash line. I think that's all I really want for the lower lash line, I think. Mm, well, maybe I'll take a little bit of this color, the lighter peach, and use that to kind of blend out that color further down into the under eye area without it looking super stark since that shade is a little bit more light, a little more peachy, I think it's a good just overall blending shade. Amazing, okay. We're gonna add that same mascara to the lower lashes and then we'll finish up the complexion. And I'm gonna layer it up the same way, step one and two on the bottom lashes. Actually scratch that. I just put the step one on the lower lashes, which I've done before. And I do usually like to build up both, but there's something about the length and separation of the lower lashes with just this mascara that I'm gonna keep. So scratch step two. I'm just doing step one on the lower lashes. I really love how that looks. I feel like the brows need touching up. So I'm gonna do that with the same Anastasia pencil really fast. As I was going through my blush drawer, I came across the Cover FX blush duos, which this was all the rage several years ago. I actually didn't add them into my collection until a little more recently, but I really wanted to wear it again. This is the shade Soft Peach. It's technically called the Monochromatic Blush Duo. You get a matte side and a shimmer side. I'm actually gonna mix both just up front and I'm gonna apply that to the cheeks because I feel like even though I went like rosy with the eyeshadow and since I had more of a rosy toned bronzer, I wanted a little bit of a peachy color to kind of tie in that hint of peach on the eyes. So I'm just adding this. All right, I'm wiping off any foundation that got on the lips and I wanted to use my 
Natasha Denona lip liner, the I Need a Nude lip crayon in the shade Natasha. It's so good. And I found it and I was like, wait, it's been so long. Plus I think it'll be perfect for this look. Yes, oh my gosh, I love that color. For lipstick, I wanted to pull out this Merit lipstick in the shade Baby, which is like this gorgeous, just muted kind of pinky mauve and use that on top. Ooh, that lip combo is really nice. I'm blending it together with my fingers. You know what, I was gonna use a gloss, but there's something about this like more satiny finish that I actually really like with this look because the eyes are so glossy. I think I'm gonna leave it. Okay, now I'm gonna dip back into Patrick Ta palette and this is where I'm gonna take the finishing powder and just kind of go in with the under eye area right here, kind of smooth out the blush in this area as well using that. Put a little extra on the nose, chin and forehead just for an extra smoothing effect. I'm going back in with what's left on the blush brush just for a hint more of that. And now I found this Hourglass Vanish um, highlighter stick, which, you know what, I think I'll apply after setting spray. So let's assess the situation really fast. Add a little more bronzer with whatever's left on the brush. I think I'm really happy with how everything looks. So now I'm gonna take my Benefit Professional Super Setter. I use this daily for a hot minute and then, ah, I just, I forgot about it again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray, whoa, there it is, spray the face with this. I'm just gonna pat that in with my sponge. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the Patrick Top Powder just right through the T-zone, very lightly. Now I'm gonna take the Hourglass Vanish Highlighter in the shade Champagne Flash, oh my goodness. The way I love this. Ugh, I hate that like I forget about some of these things. Makes me sad actually. I'm just gonna take a bit of that off of the back of my hand and apply it to the high points of the face as highlighter. Like honestly, I could have just gone right into the product itself, I think. There we go. Just for a bit of extra glow. This is so pretty. We'll go a little bit down the center of the nose as well. And you know what? Let me take a little bit of that on my pinky pop it into the inner corner of the eye. There we go, I feel like that actually completes the eye look well. Yes, that looks way better. I cannot live without brow gel, you guys know. So I'm gonna set the brows with just my trusty Benefit Brow Setter to make sure the brows are locked in place all day. All right, so there you have it, you guys. This is the final look with a full face of nothing new. I love how this turned out. There's something about this very almost wet looking eyelid that complements the more matte lip. Everything is very monochromatic, which is just a foolproof way to feel polished, classic, a little bit glam, but it's like not too over the top. I love these tones. And it was so fun to dip back into some of these products that I just haven't used in so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me reuse some of these things. I hope it inspires you to dip into the things you already have and like enjoy the stuff that's in your collection. Just because maybe people aren't talking about things right now doesn't mean they're not incredible products because there's always something new launching. So I think it's good to get used to the amazing feeling of reminding yourself how you can reuse your things for months and months and always be inspired no matter how many new things are launching. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more Full Face of Nothing new videos, I have tons on my channel. I'll have the playlist down below for you guys. But yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have an incredible day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.